All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. So today we're going to take a look at uh, LR Rose Goku Black at level 10 links. Now, um, the reason I'm doing a video on him, I have done one on him before, but it was one of those like private server ones uh, where I don't go through like a whole bunch of different teams and stuff like that. So this is like the first like level 10 links video I'm making on LR Goku Black um, uh, on my own account here. Now, LR Goku Black... Uh, at his best, can actually look like a top 5 LR in the game, even now. But the way he's designed hurts him bad, in that he doesn't really have great partners to bring out his full power. I mean, his Link set provides a lot of power. I mean, he's got Super Saiyan, Fear and Faith, Kamehameha, Dismal Future, Big Bad Bosses, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. He was helped a lot by the Link level update, too, by the way. Because something like this, Dismal Future now gives two key, right? Big Bad Bosses now has no HP restriction on it. So Goku Black did get better from the Link level update. The problem with LR Goku Black is again, partners, base form Goku Black cards basically suck. Zamasu cards suck. Merge Zamasu cards suck. Future as a team, no one talk, oh, that's not, uh, wait, yeah, that is future. No, no one talks about it, but Future's like completely dead. This team is this team is horrible now because they've gotten no like power creep has become so massive they've gotten nothing since the five year anniversary basically besides just this trunks that just came out right and that trunks is a hybrid saiyan support so he's not really good for future so like th that is hurting this lr goku black um this guy will definitely still be good um you know moving forward uh depending upon what other units come out but right now he's definitely in a tricky spot because he's not one of these lrs we could just toss out there by himself and he's god he needs help right in order for this goku black to be good um okay so oh boy i i want to keep supreme opi of time on rotation um that's pretty important right here um because uh, so the thing about lr goku black right I took him into the God event, and honestly, he didn't really look that impressive. There wasn't really a great setup, because again, in the God event, you really want to be using, like, all type advantage. Uh, like, and Goku Black didn't really have a great setup in there, and, like, you're going to want key support for him, because he has no key mechanic besides what he does. He gives himself two key with every final blow delivered. So, in the God event, it's w a worthless ability. You're not going to ever get key um in the god event because of that right because the second you finish one enemy off you've won the fight so that definitely hurts goku black a lot right um but that's the design of the unit is he does so much damage uh that they want uh him to struggle for key right like that's his design but those types of units a lot of times cannot look that impressive i think um once you start taking them into difficult content right depending upon the circumstances now, if we get, like, some sort of, like, LR transforming Goku Black, see, 5.53 right there, we had, like, nothing active. For, that was Fierce Battle. That's it. And he does, he did that attack stat. Like, he hits so hard, dude. His damage is absolutely insane. Um, but it's not going to be that common is the problem. All right. Now, here's the other thing, too, right? So, now we have a rotation with a couple of these Goku Blacks right here. Um, keep in mind that uh, the you can now, with the same name update, which is going to help LR Goku Black a lot, um, you can now run multiple Rose Goku Blacks. Now, you can't link them up together. If you could link them up together, I would argue that LR Goku Black probably would be the unit in the game that would benefit the most. Because um, then you could run like AGL Rose and LR Rose together, and that is dominance, right? They're going to share a lot of links, stuff like Super Saiyan, Fear and Faith, Dismal Future, Fierce Battle, Big Bad Bosses. It would be insanity, right? And Goku Black would go crazy. But they're not able to link together. But Goku Black is still helped out by AGL Rose, the way he gives key to the rotation. Um, all right, so there's a couple things to talk about here, too, with Goku Black. His defense is pretty low because he gets no defense from his passive besides the 66% at the start of turn, right? 66% attack and defense start of turn. Now, he does greatly raise defense on both of his super attacks, right? Both his 18 key and 12 key, he is greatly raising defense for one turn. It's a 50% defensive buff. 
So Goku Black will be in the range of 150k defense after he super attacks right here. Honestly, not the craziest, right? That's not like a super ridiculous attack set or anything like, or a uh, defensive set or anything like that. But the damage he does is crazy. Um, he also recovers 6% HP at the end of the turn in which attack was received. That's the AGL Metal Cooler ability right there. Um, all right, so with a uh, AGL Blue Goku, we have Super Saiyan Fear and Faith as well as Fierce Battle. Keep in mind, we're getting a lot of support on this rotation. Glizzy Gobbler Whis came in. Let's go ahead and bring us up to 24 key. So we have a lot of support on rotation. We have several of his links active. Um, let's see how much damage Goku Black is going to do right here. It should be a fairly sizable amount, by the way. Um, I mean, this should be 7, 8 million, I, I, b I believe, somewhere in that range. We're taking a lot of damage. Oh, we 5 dodge! What? Oh, 9? Dude, he hits so hard. Like, it's insanity. Because, like, like, we don't have Big Bad Bosses active, dude. Like... He hits so hard. It's ridiculous how hard this guy hits, man. Um. All right, let's. I, actually, I, I guess we can we cannot finish Vegito Blue off right here. Um, and that this would allow us to make use of all the Rainbow Orbs in the next rotation as well. Yep, perfect. And we'll hit that right there. Perfect. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, if, and either of the Beerus is getting additional super, it's done. Uh, Goku Black also does have an active skill, but you're not... It's a it's a horrible condition. 66% HP or less from the freaking sixth turn. So you're, like, never going to see this. And it's just, like, it's basically a giant transformation. It's, it's one of these, like, rage techniques where he pulls out the scythe. It's just a horrible condition. Honestly... I think it should be turn three. You could do it whenever you want. That would be the best way. That would be the ideal way to go about it. Um, all right. Now we're looking good. This is going to be ridiculous levels of damage right here. Um, okay. What was he going to go? He's going to go for those. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, <clears throat> all right. Let's see how much damage LR Goku Black is going to do. This is where LR Goku Black is going to get a little bit better in the future, is when this guy gets a Dokkan Awakening. This is a World Tournament uh, reward card, a really good one. This is this guy came out uh, almost exactly two years ago now. Uh, the only issue with him is that for LR Goku Black, you really want key support. Key is what LR Goku Black needs more than anything, right? And this guy is just giving a bunch of buffs, right? He gives 20% attack and defense to future, 20% attack and defense to time traveler, right? Like, it's good for LR Goku Black, but LR Goku Black really wants key. Uh, I'm going to just use a shoe item to get us the, the, the one extra key right here. Um, and let's see how much damage... Again, this attack set's going to be way higher than what we saw last time, because now we have big bad bosses active. I mean, this is going to be 10 million, I think. Uh, it, it's act, it's actually insane. Like, Goku, LR Goku Black hits way harder than even I thought. Yeah, dude. It, it's like, th this is the thing about him. Like, he actually has top five in the game power, but you can't, like, see it. it it's very difficult to actually activate it because he's in such a quirky position. He doesn't have a great partner. Dude, if they drop, like, an LR Merge Zamasu... Who gives like three key to like time traveler or realm of gods or something like that it's gonna be like actually like nuts like how ridiculous it's gonna oh we can use beerus let's use beerus's active skill right here but i'm, I'm telling y'all like you, you, he just did 10 million like he hits so hard it's because he has that same vegeta mechanic where he gets um six percent attack with each key up to a max of 120 percent that mechanic Allows these units to just hit so freaking hard. Um, I'm going to use Beerus' active skill right here. Let's go ahead and get this in the video. And sure, let's give Beerus an attack stat right here as well. Because he's probably just going to one-shot this Vegito Blue. But, um... I mean, yeah, as you guys can see, LR Goku Black is doing so much damage. He is on a bunch of category teams, but again, uh, the partners and stuff that you're using him with um, are... It, it's just tough, because he doesn't have prepared for battle, right? Like, he has Fear and Faith, Dismal Future, 
Kamehameha, Big Bad Bosses, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, Super Saiyan. Like, not having prepared for battle does hurt him. Actually, if we don't finish Vegito Blue off right here... Oh, it looks like he... Okay, he's done. I was going to say, we're going to be able to get the active skill. We'll get LR Goku Black's active skill here in the video, but we almost had it right there. Yeah, we did. Okay. Um, all right, let's go on to the next fight. That was pretty impressive, though. We saw some really crazy numbers from LR Goku Black. He hits very hard, dude. All right, so now we are on the future category team. Again, this team is definitely aging fast. Um, a lot of these characters are pretty old at this point, right? I mean, maybe EZAs for like Tech Vegito Blue, SCR Rose and stuff like that can certainly help it. Maybe some other units, you know, physical LR Trunks gets his EZA and you know, a couple big time Dokkan Fester LRs like LR Merge Zamasu or maybe like a better base Goku Black comes out, you know, stuff like that. Certainly could improve this team a lot. But for now, it definitely is in sort of a tricky spot, right? Um, all right, so we're looking good in terms of int key right there. So let's go ahead and see how our boy LR Goku Black does in this rotation. So this is going to be him without any support. 69k defense right there is just really not that impressive, honestly. Um, it, it's th This is a unit, again, who is reliant upon support. Because th this is a rotation. This is what he does without support. Let's see what he does. Well, he still did five minutes. <laughs> okay. Well, he still, he, still, <laughs> he still dropped a five milli on him, which is it's pretty good, I feel like. Yeah, dude, he's strong. I just, there's some, I didn't check his links. That, that was, I, okay, okay, but uh, wow. All right. <laughs> yeah, th this boy hits very hard. All right, well, here's the Glizzy Gobbler Whis coming in on a turn where we don't need him. It's fine. Uh, Man, I, I just... Like, I, these numbers he's hitting are just, like, very fat and big. Like, this LR Goku Black, man, he really hits hard. Um, uh, it, it's just, like, again, you have to be running other Goku Black units with him for sure. It's because, like, I, I need to check what that Goku Black Zomasu's links are. I don't, I don't, I've used that unit so infrequently, I actually don't have his links memorized. So I'll have to double check. I, I mean, I know in terms of what Goku Black would have had with Trunks last turn, um, it would be Dismal Future as well as Fierce Battle. Oh, the cord! No! Uh-oh. Okay, cord, thanks. There we go. Um, okay, yeah, so with Trunks last time... So so what, what, do, what do you have? So this guy has Dismal Future and Fear and Faith. So last turn we had Fear and Faith, Dismal Future, and Fierce Battle active, right? Is that all Merge Samasu? Oh, no, no, no. We're, we're going to get a lot more. Okay. So, this guy does not have um, big bad bosses, though, which sucks. Okay. So, Merge Zamasu is definitely going to be a pretty good uh, option. This tech Merge Zamasu with this LR Goku Black, right? Again, they're getting Fear and Faith, Dismal Future, Big Bad Bosses, and Fierce Battle. So, that is four key from Lynx, which is pretty good. Uh, remember that Merge Zamasu is also giving a defensive support ability to LR Goku Black, which is pretty good. Um, and then we're gonna be able we're gonna be able to get almost 24 keys. So this is gonna be a very big attack right here. This is without support right here. We have defensive support, but we do not have offensive support on this rotation. And Goku Black is still at 6.2. So we see him consistently putting up absolutely gigantic gigantic attack numbers right but it, it's it's involving like very specific setups he's good um I, I feel like he's gonna age fine because he does so much damage just as long as he's got like like good partners around him right because like i feel like the lr super saiyan 2 vegeta who has like the exact same design as this goku black like it works better on him because it's so easy um, to find great support type units, uh, or like support type units and linking characters with that LR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta than it is for LR Goku Black, right? LR Goku Black, you know, we're limited to, you know, basically the extreme class Realm of God side. And a lot of them are just not the craziest monsters or anything like that, right? Like there is some stuff that's good, but it's like, eh. All right, so... Here we have uh, the STR Rose. So he gives three key as well as defense. So we're getting defense from both of them. Keep in mind, we did get super attacked by Gohan, so our defense was artificially lowered last turn. So his defense would even be higher than this. So after super attacking, I mean, he would be getting up closer to 200k defense if Gohan had not supered him and lowered his defense. So that would have been pretty good. 
Um, we'll get this turn right here, and then we'll go ahead and move on uh, probably to another team. I mean, dude, there's, there's almost not even really that much more to show. Like, we saw how ridiculously high his damage can get, right? He shoots out these huge, huge attack sets. There is at a 3.78. Remember when he's a uh, double super frame is very good defensively because that's going to give him two 50% defensive increases, right? Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and move on to a different team. You know, he is on a bunch of category teams, Realm of Gods, Patara, Future, Time Traveler, Kamehameha, Exploding Rage, Inhuman Deeds, Kuroda, Body and Mind. But it literally is just one of those instances of like a crazy base Goku Black comes out and then this LR Goku Black really becomes like almost, I, I would feel like one of the top units in the game at that point. Like he would be insanely good. Um, yeah, all right, so let's let's go ahead and move on now to a different team. Um, Future is also getting, like, I had to reload several times to find a Trunks lead, too. So Future is starting to become a rare team. Not surprising, since, like, basically the last major unit to come out was to sell our Goku Black for the Future category team. All right, so now we are over here on Bojack's Time Traveler slash Space Traveling Warrior team. Obviously a very, very powerful team that Bojack is able to build right here for a lot of different characters, right? Um, all right, so we are going to be able to get a number of links here for our boy LR Goku Black. We have, what, Fear and Faith, Big Bad Bosses, as well as Fierce Battle. Um, because we have nearly a full villain team, uh, Toa is going to be giving a massive support type buff. What is she giving? 30%, I believe. And then remember that that Tech Perfect Cell is a really good unit. I have got to get him to link level 10. Um, I just, there's so many, like, they've released so many new units recently that, like, I've been prioritizing getting them to leak level 10 first. Um, all right, so LR Goku Black should be putting up a fairly high attack set right here. We have a lot of support on this rotation. Um, yeah, 7.37, like, when you're talking about going through, like, Dokkan events and stuff like that, Goku Black is just, like, tearing shit up. Like, this is the thing, like, this is why, like, during the five-year anniversary for a while, it's like, man, like, is LR Goku Black, like, better than even the Blue Fusions? Because, like... Blue Fusions are not typically doing what LR Goku Black just did right there. Like, dropping a 7.5 million attack stat turn one. It's not exactly common, I would say. So, uh, it is very impressive, uh, the amount of damage that this Goku Black can do. But, again, it's... When you start talking about, like, how consistently is Goku Black going to put that these amounts of damage, like, out... Um, a lot of that is depending, right, on what the support is for the rotation, how much key you're getting, stuff like that, right? Probably does matter a lot more. I, I should have left uh, the Tech Cell on rotation, not Toa. That was a misplay, because Tech Cell have big bad bosses plus support. That's going to give us more than, I think, um, the Fierce Battle plus support from Toa. It's, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, I did bring B-Pan. You know, we'll kind of get a rotation. I wanted the rotation to be Turles, B-Pan. Actually, I guess I could wait. Uh, wait, who did I float off? Was it Turles? Did I float Turles off right there? I did float Turles off. Okay, okay. So we'll, we'll save B-Pan's active skill for next turn, right? Um, after this run, uh, we probably will go ahead and um, get LR Goku Black's active skill as well. Um, I do need to get LR Goku Black's active skill in this video. Even if it's, you know, very difficult to get and not really the greatest, we still do want to get it. All right, so we have, what, Legendary Power, Fierce Battle, and Fear and Faith active right here, okay? Um, you know, that Legendary Power, definitely a really good link uh, that all these LRs have. So even something like B-Pan is able to link up with LR Goku Black. I do love that. And obviously, Legendary Power, 15% attack on Super now is really good, right? Like, that's going to contribute a lot of extra damage. Um, how much are we going to pop with Rosé right here? 6.22. See, it's like such a wonky rotation, right? Like LRB Pan, LR Koku Black and Zamasu, and then Tech Toa. And he's dropping attack stats like that. Like, he's powerful, man. He does a lot of damage. Um, I, I do like him. I really hope that they support him uh, and they give him an actual, like, like, friend unit that can we can really take advantage of this lr goku black because he is still a summonable lr recently like i i really hope they don't just pretend he doesn't exist or anything like that like if they could create some sort of like goku black that could be a partner for this guy like it would just be so huge right this guy really needs it um but i mean his power is definitely like 
out of control. <laughs> he does so much damage, this LR Goku Black does. All right, so let's see what we can get with an LRB Pan active skill. Um, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at his uh, LR Goku Black's active skill after this. Uh, I am probably going to uh, pop some key as well just to make sure we're getting maximum uh, damage and stuff like that. Here, let's do that. Uh, we'll be able to get four key. I don't think we're going to get 24 key right here, but we are going to get a fairly high number. All right, so let's go ahead and pop that. And then we'll go ahead and pop that. All right. Uh, obviously, Rose and Turles have a few links active, right? We have Big Bad Bosses and Fierce Battle, then Legendary Power from B-Pan. This is 23 key. This should hit pretty hard. I'm actually unsure of how B-Pan's active skill works with Goku Black, uh, his attack buff. I don't think... I, I, I think Goku Black's attack buff is more so similar to, like, uh, units that super attack... Like, 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 get their attack buff on super attack than, like, start of turn attack buffs. I mean, we'll see if LR Goku Black just drops, like, a 15 million attack stat right here. <laughs> right? I don't know. I mean, he easily could break 10 right here with uh, LR V Pan. Let's see what uh, Goku Black does. And he jumps up to a... Oh, 10 million. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. V Pan definitely gives him a significant buff. Goodbye, Cell. <laughs> see you in hell, Cell. <laughs> All right, we can go ahead and get one more rotation in here. Um, Bojack links up exactly the same with LR Goku Black as Turles, Fierce Battle, and Big Bad Bosses right here. Um, but again, any extra attack stats and stuff like that we can get in here, let's go ahead and do. That's going to be full 24 key. Um, keep in mind that Bojack is not supporting uh, LR Goku Black, right? Because LR Goku Black is not on Space Traveling Warriors, even though he probably should, considering he traveled around killing all the gods of destruction. And didn't they state that he got rid of other planets full of life prior to earth i think they did right so i don't know goku black is actually probably another character that should be on space shoving warriors but I, whatever right there's there's quite a few like dragon ball z broly obviously should and stuff like that but i, I, I don't know it's fine yeah dude dragon ball z broly not on space shoving warriors okay dokkan all right so we are going to get uh lr goku black's um uh, active skill over here but this is also going to be a pretty good opportunity, I think, to get a monster attack stat as well that I think we could get probably with this rotation right here. So we're going to have everything active except for Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, and Legendary Power. Uh, we have a lot of support from SCR Goku Black as well as the time-traveling support Mai. Uh, right? Both are giving 40% attack to LR Goku Black. So let's go ahead and see just what he does in this rotation, right? Uh, 9.63. Uh, quite good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're able to get some really big numbers with this guy. And then there you go. Drops a 10 million damage attack on that Goku. And then that gets some key. LR Goku Black in longer events like this. If you could like really ensure that he gets a couple of kills early on. It can really help him a lot, right? Because it, again, if you get early kills um, in these events right here with Goku Black in one of these phases, then once he starts building up key from his passive, it's a, he's just able to work much, much better, right? But of course, that's going to require you to actually get kills with him to get the extra key. All right, perfect. So we took damage, so we'll be able to use Goku Black's active skill in this next turn. Um, I want to try and get. I hope the orbs are good. Okay, so Goku Black, right? Once we utilize his active skill right here, it's basically just a giant transformation or rage mode, one of these things. Um, he does, at that point, become super effective against all types, and he gets an additional one key per key sphere obtained, right? So both that are going to be cool. I do want to make sure to get both of these animations in the video here. So, um, oh, this is perfect. Well, yeah, this is. Yeah, okay, we'll be able to. Okay, let's go ahead and pop Goku Black's active skill. The only thing, man, is it is such a bummer, right? That you're able to use, like, such an amazing-looking animation, but it's so rare to get it off, right? Like, 
That animation, the dialogue, all that is so good. But again, it's so uncommon to be able to do this and get, you know, his scythe form out right here. Um, all right. So, again, remember, he gets one extra key per orb and he is super effective against all types. Um, he does have a special KO screen if we finish with the 18 key super attack in the scythe mode, which looks like we're going to get perfect. All right. Here we go. Yeah, dude, th these hands this in. Uh, it's such a bummer. This animation looks so good, and you never see it. That's how we can end it right there. That special. This, that, is this the rarest KO screen in the game? I think it is. Um, because, again, you, so we can only activate this. Turn 6 or beyond, under 66% HP. Then you got to get the 18 key super attack with this rage mode and finish the enemy off with the 18 key super attacks. That one is uber rare. But it is good, right? Um, we definitely saw a very impressive display from LR Goku Black right there. So let me know what you guys think of this guy at level 10 Lynx. I mean, again, he's very, very impressive. So good. But it's just he needs a partner, right? Like, it's difficult for me to place him in, like, how good of an LR is he, right? Like, how good is he compared to LR Buhan? How good is he compared to Turles or STR LR Broly? It's difficult because those units have tons of good partners. Very easy for them to operate. Whereas this Goku Black, it's not really the same thing, right? Like, you know, this Goku Black seems to me like he's doing a lot more damage than Buhan. Um, or at least Tanks, right? But the thing is that Tanks gets extra key per orb. So it's so easy and consistent for him to get these big super attacks. Whereas Goku Black, right? Like, you know, if you're not running full support with him, it's not going to be that common for him to get um his 18 key super attack and stuff like that so you have to be very aware of things like that right so uh let me know what you guys think of this uh lr goku black uh full level 10 links thanks guys for watching and i'll catch y'all next time